Okay, you guys, I'm here to review Stepfather 3. Now, Stepfather 3 takes place four years and nine months after the events of Stepfather 2. Okay? Now we are introduced to the character Keith Grant. And Keith Grant looks just like an ordinary man who wants the perfect family, of course. And he falls for this woman and her son, her son in a wheelchair. Okay? A few weeks later, they're married, of course, just like uh, the other two movies. But, of course, you have the blatant ex-boyfriend who does not want the relationship to end with her and tries to do anything to get back with her. Okay, that kind of sets off Keith. And then, you get, you get introduced to another lady and her son that Keith kind of has an interest in. So you got this whole big plot point going on between love triangles and it's fucking awesome I I really really love Stepfather 3 I I I think it's the best one so far out of the trilogy I think it is the best fucking one okay there I said it and it doesn't even have Terry O'Quinn in it I know I know and Terry O'Quinn's good but I do like the guy that plays Keith uh, Grant though he is a good uh, okay actor, not a good actor, okay? But, uh, yeah, this movie has a lot going for it, and it's a little, this is the longest one. The other two are, like, in the 87-minute range. This is a full hour and 49 minutes, so this is the longest in the movie trilogy. But, uh, everything does make a lot of sense, okay? A lot of sense, and you kind of get the legit of what's going to be going on. Especially in the first beginning of the movie, when the movie first comes on. There is a good twist in this movie. It's a very good twist, but I kind of called it. But, uh, yeah. The kills are pretty good. I love the kills. The acting is pretty good by both of the women and the boys. Pretty fucking good. Um, the reverend, or father, if you will, like a priest. In this movie... He sounds like Malcolm McDowell. I'm not joking. He sounds just like Malcolm McDowell. It's fucking crazy. Well, also it's fucking crazy. We all know of a YouTuber named Paul, a.k.a. Trey Passer. Now I know what you're thinking. Jay, what does this guy do with him? Well, his intro has like this little Christmas-like theme melody to it. In the scene with the priest in his car, he puts a tape on. It's that exact same music. Yeah. So, Paul, if you're watching this, watch that Fighter 3. Your intro the entrance music is in that movie. Pretty cool. <laughs> Overall, though, I'm giving Step Fighter 3 an A. I love this one as much as the other two, if not better than the other two. And... This was a good trilogy so far. So, yeah. And I think you're going to be pretty interested and pretty satisfied with this movie. Okay? So, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about Stepfather 3 down below. Did y'all like it? Did y'all hate it? What is your favorite out of the three movies? Now we're going to be moving on to the remake, which I've already have done. So, yeah. I am out.